hey guys, this is Dance Warners, and I just this message, you know, is from my heart, and I just want to share this message to people. Um, you you really gotta listen to Jesus Christ, you know, like what's going on, the coronavirus, the this everything in general, like earthquakes, you know, talks about that. More, um, Matthew chapter twenty four will be famine. Pestilence, earthquakes, rumor of wars, wars, just everything in general that's going on in this world right now. We really got to listen to Jesus Christ. You know, you got to stay, stay alert from signs, you know, especially like we're going, it's getting closer to the end times. You know, this picture right here, you know, on my iPad is a lady swarm of locusts. You know, that's a, that's, it's crazy, you know, like a swarm of locusts surrounding her and, you know, it's just not good, you know, you just gotta, Jesus Christ, he wants us to get closer to him and not sin and repent of all our sins, you know, like, you know, this is a spiritual warfare and the devil is trying to, you know, he knows his time is coming up and he's, he's trying to cause all these evil things upon God, God's people and just people in general and he wants you to turn away from God and you gotta be strong and you got, you know, just focus on Jesus Christ and, you know, like, don't give in to what the devil says, you know, really, especially when you're at home, really focus on Jesus Christ. Do not, do not give in to the devil. Um, read the word, you know, focus on God because he loves you so much. And, you know, he, he wants to bless you and do all these wonderful things to you, for you. And he doesn't want you to see, like, go down and, you know, get, be feared, you know, like Jesus Christ is in your heart and he's, he's going to protect us from all this. You just got to, you know, focus people, focus on Jesus Christ, and especially the unbelievers, you really got to repent of your sins, you know, know this is the truth, you know, this is a prophecy, this stuff's going to come through, you know, in the end of Revelation, and it's going to be even, it's going to become worse, it's going to be even more damages, you know, in your, just, just everywhere, you, you can't stop this, you can't hide this, you can't secretly do your sin, you know, God sees everything, he sees your heart, you got to really truthful, truthfully believe in Jesus Christ and repent of all your sins and turn away from them and just focus on God. This whole world should do that, you know, like with the coronavirus spreading and, you know, it's a wake up call. You got to you really got to really, you know, focus on Jesus Christ. This is serious. You know, like you, you got to be it's, he wants to save all the people who don't believe in him. You know, he wants he doesn't want them to go down a fiery pit with the devil, you, you know, tormented day and night. He doesn't want that. He wants us to share the gospel, preach to all nations so they could hear because when that time comes, it's going to be too late when all you guys is going to bow down to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And, you know, you can't, it'll be too late, you know, like and to get to heaven, you, you really got to like repent and ask God for forgiveness because the time is almost here, you know, like, there's going to be more crazy stuff happening, you know, the mark of the beast, you know, like, it's just, it's just crazy, you know, like, you just, you guys got to really focus on Jesus Christ, don't focus on the world, don't focus on worldly things, don't focus on, you know, what the government's trying to do to you guys, you know, focus on Jesus Christ, because at the end of the day, man can't save you, only Jesus Christ could save you, and whatever man does to you, you know, like Jesus Christ, you know, conquered death and he died on the cross for our sins and it's life after death. So man can't do anything, you know, no, no evil, no sword, no weapon could prevail against you, especially the ones that believe in Jesus Christ. You know, it it doesn't, it's just nothing, you know, it's useless. You know, it's just a scare. Basically, man's just a scarecrow just to scare you. But the truth is, is that Jesus Christ overcomes everything. He created man and you just got to live up to him because the truth is, is that after you die, then that's where, you know, where you go is for the Lord or for Satan. You got to pick a side. You can't pick both sides. So I'm just, I'm just sharing this preaching and sharing this to all the people in the world, just to focus on Jesus Christ, no matter where you're from, every other country, you know, state, like focus on Jesus Christ, like really open your Bible and read the word, you know, and this is serious. Stop your sins and just love one of you, just love each other and follow his commandments because his commandments, you know, is very important, you know, like the it's very important to follow God. Even though you're, you know, you believe in Jesus Christ, you're saved. You still got to follow his commandments and, you know, trust in him and do good, you know, don't do bad, you know, really, really focus on him because the time is almost here. Revelation, everybody's going to bow down to him, you know, 
he's gonna it's gonna get worse before it gets better. And the best thing about this is that at the end of the day, when Jesus Christ comes, everything will be good. Everything you know, the believers don't have to worry about anything because he's gonna bring us up with him, and we're gonna be with him forever and ever. But watch these signs, you know, especially. In the Roman Catholic Church, you know, like the Vatican, like, you know, like the Mark of the Beast, the New World Order, like just everything in the government. I know you guys know about the government, you know, you, like already, you know, like some of you guys know what's going on. Cause, but you guys got to open your eyes more because it gets, it's going to get real deep in the world. And when Jesus Christ comes, it's, it's, you just got to read Revelation and prophecies because these are coming true. Like these plagues and everything. And these famines, these diseases, they're, they're coming true and it's going to get worse. So really focus on Jesus Christ and stay strong. Stay strong in the Lord because He has, he's going to put his angels guarding you, the ones that's you know, loyal to him. You got to really stay strong and just depend on him because Jesus Christ loves you. And, you know, he's, he'll never leave you nor forsake you. And that's for everybody. So everybody who doesn't know the gospel, they, man, I, I, don't want, I want them to see this message because... Jesus Christ loves you too, and he wants you to be saved, and, you know, he doesn't want no no problems come over you, you know, like, he, he is, he's waiting to come back for everybody to turn to him, you know, to repent of their sins, and to focus on him, and trust him, and believe in him, and love him, because he loves you, and this is why all this stuff is happening, he, he could, he's using this, he wants you to to know that he's the one and only true Lord Jesus Christ. Because in my heart, I know he's the one and only Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why I repent, I repent of my sins. And I'm following God. Every little thing I do, you know, sin, a sin is a sin. No matter how you how you put it. I am focusing on Jesus Christ. I'm repenting of all my sins. Everything that's against contradicting to the word of God, I'm focusing on Jesus Christ. And I want to move forward and do the best I can. Because while I'm, at, while I'm living right now in this world... I want to, I want to just, you know, I really want to impress God, you know, like, because that time I want, I want him to say, Daniel, real good, my faithful servant come in the kingdom of God. I don't want him to say, Daniel, I never knew you. I want to, I'm going to show God my loyalty, my trust, and I'm doing this for Jesus Christ because I love him and he loved me first. And I want to be with him forever, ever in heaven. And all you guys should do the same thing, like really focus, focus on Jesus Christ, you know, like put that to work, you know, put, put, you know, really, really believe in him, you know, it's not about works, I know it's not about works, it's about grace, about what he did, but put in your thought, put in your mind that, you know, Jesus Christ loves you, and you, you gotta love, you should love him back, because that's the truth, that's the life, you guys gotta be strong in the word of God, like, that's all that comes down to this, it's gonna get worse, but it's gonna get better when you focus and you believe in Jesus Christ, because you will be saved, and he will take you away from all these pestilence, diseases. You know, everything will be at peace when he comes, makes a new heaven, new earth. Everything will be at peace. But you got to accept the Lord and save with Jesus Christ as your personal savior because he's the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. So all the other foreign gods that's out there, that's not true. That's false. You know, that's the devil wants you to think that, oh, there's other gods or whatever put this deception in your minds. You know, that's not true. Those are all false. There's only one true Lord loving Jesus Christ, and he died on the cross for all our sins. And that's who you should believe in, Jesus Christ, to the end of the earth, after and forever. Thank you so much. That's I'm really, I want to share this video from my heart. Dance Wonders, peace, God bless everybody, and I hope everybody will be safe from this pandemic. Dance Wonders, clocking out, peace.